everyone. Welcome along to Sim Racing Unlimited. And you join myself, Alex Goldschmidt, and also part of the editorial team here and a regular face here on Sim Racing Unlimited. Yannick Kalstein joins me. Yannick, two weeks away from the 2022 Adiatse Sim Racing Exberg in the Nuremberg Messe, right not too far from the actual Norris Ring circuit just off the banks of the uh, Dutzen Teich. Things are ramping up, aren't they? Yes, for sure. Very exciting times, right? <laughs> we have exciting announcements uh, pretty much every day these days. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be quite an event. Don't miss that. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have wondered why the hell we've gone to the Nuremberg Messe. Well, you're literally about 20, 25, 30 minutes away by uh, by train if you're flying in, like I'm going to have to do on the 30th, the day before the event. But two halls with more than 15,000 square metres. And we've also got a wonderful stage arena for where we're going to see teams battling it out for prize money and also for prizes because we've got three major competitions also got a little bit of fun through the race room business to business that's going to be happening on the 1st of uh, December. But we've got the ADAC uh, Community Trophy season, uh, finale, which is going to take place at the Marius Ring. And um, we're going to have 12 of the drivers competing there. We're also going to have nearly half the field of this year's Adiatse Sim Racing Expo Professional Trophy by Sim Racing GP. The final round heads to, of course, the Nürburgring. But then we have the ADAC Digital GT500 on the Sunday. And what's more, there is a change of venue. We're going to have over 30 of the very best iRacing sim racing teams, the likes of Williams Esports. Team Redline have now decided they're going to bring a two-car outfit to the, to the party. So we're going to see the likes of Max Benecke, Patrick Holtzman, uh, Luke Crane's favourite, most handsome man in all of iRacing, Mr Enzo Benito, of course, hopefully. <laughs> and he might be there in person, so we'll see the bromance flourish. But... Um, but three great competitions um, curtailing to towards the end of the calendar year. Um, Yannick, just from a Sim Racing Unlimited perspective, um, there's been a lot of work behind the scenes, the likes of uh, Michael Vams, the head of Corvana, uh, the ADAC that have been uh, from Adiatse Middleline, who have been involved with the GT500, Danny Guse, who we can't fail to mention, and all the team, Marcel, Vincent, you, me, uh, Corby. There's been a lot of work behind the scenes, getting all this content out ready, and the announcements, as you said, are, are flourishing. We're also partnering with Retro Classics Bavaria, who are going to be in uh, one of the two halls, the bigger one. Um, in your perspective, having been at the, the Nürburgring last year, how much on the scale of what we've got coming for this year is it different to 2021? It's it's going to be enormous. <laughs> that is for sure. I mean, the, the Nürburgring was a great venue, of course. Uh, there can't be a better backdrop, uh, at least in Germany, than the Nürburgring, probably in Europe too, and maybe Spa, probably Le Mans, but it's definitely up there. Um, just from the uh, the event environment, basically, uh, Nuremberg is so much bigger, so much more suited to this kind of event that it's going to be just uh, an entirely different experience. We've seen that uh, during our test run, if you will, uh, on Retro Classics Bavaria last year, mm -hmm. uh, where we had this small demo space, if you will. And um, I think over the, the three days, we barely had a minute without people in the simulators. They were <laughs> super interested, and uh, it's going to be cool to see um, what they think uh, of the of the entire thing, if they uh, wander over from the other exp um, exhibition halls. I think uh, Retro Classics Bavaria has three this year, uh, three halls by themselves. So, yeah, it's going to be a huge combined event. And um, I don't think there's uh, any motorsports fan or racing fan, even car fan, who wants to miss this, really. Yeah, I mean, if I get a, f a spare five minutes, I'm rushing over to Retro Cla Classics Bavaria. <laughs> I mean, any type of old school German automotive machinery is right up there in my book. But... Looking at the amount of exhibitors that we've got, we've got the likes of uh, Acto Racer, Azatec Sim Sports, who are partnered, funny enough, with recent pole sitter in qualifying at the Brazilian Grand Prix, Kevin Magnussen. Uh, we've got Asha Racing, Bavarian Sim Take Cube Controls, who have so many ambassadors, is ridiculous. Augusto Farfus, Rubens Barrichello, Esteban Guerri, amongst others. Fanatec are going to be there as well. Get Closer Racing, uh, GSI Gomez Sim Industries, GPX, Hoisinkfeldt, who have been with us for a number of years here at the Adiatsis Sim Racing Expo, Logitech, Monster Energy, Moser Racing, Next Level Racing. Uh, the biggest announcement was Nintendo Germany. I was absolutely... Imagine? 
I, I and my tweet said it all. I mean, who's ready to get their invisibility invincibility stars out? You know, because um, <laughs> there's a lot coming from that race room are going to be there. Uh, Rig, who have partnered with us for the fastest lap and 50 euros award for both the community trophy and the professional trophy, are going to be there in person. Sim Motion. Uh, who've recently joined as a premium partner, Sim Racing GP. So Steve and Dan and the team are going to be there as well. Simicube, track time. Uh, we are going to see uh, Florian Hasper and the team from VCO uh, have a presence at the uh, Ariatis Sim Racing Expo track racer, VRL. And also great to see that NACOM and um, WRC Generations are going to be there in person, which you've had the beauty of being one of the editorial team and the only one out of us two that has a sim rig to actually give it a bit of a go uh, but you'll be able to get hands on with it at the Nuremberg Messe um, but this is my first experience of the Adiatis Sim Racing Expo I've watched all the streams for the past few years so I know what to expect Yannick tell the fans mm -hmm. from the sim racing and also the, the greater motorsport community because there's a lot of people making that cross over that uh, blurred line between real life and sim racing what can they expect to really in, uh, interest them in terms of peripherals hardware and also the fact we've got panels happening and the mm -hmm. racing too yeah for sure uh first of all let me uh throw in another big name that you didn't mention just now when you recounted almost everyone uh we have logitech as well which is kind of a big deal i'd say um as uh, yeah. still one of the manufacturers for entry-level wheels and now direct drive wheels who would have thought um True. so yeah very much looking forward to that but uh, to answer your, your question um of course you will have the latest and greatest in hardware from pretty much any level really there's high-end stuff with motion rigs and oh. i mean only getting into a real car would come closer i'd say um, there's going to be uh, yeah, some less uh, high-level uh, entries too, um, some beginner hardware, I'm pretty sure as well. Um, so there's something there for everyone. Um, you mentioned Nintendo, who already announced that there will be some sort of Mario Kart presence there. <laughs> so uh, we have yep. the, the very uh, beginner level, so to speak, for uh, all the aspiring uh, little racers, if you want, if you will. <laughs> Um, but that's of course not everything we have, um, as you mentioned, the, the panels on the stage. So we have a stage, <laughs> mm. which will have a program for all four days. Um, that includes, uh, race broadcasts that includes, uh, interviews, um, press conferences, talk panels, um, all sorts of cool things, uh, that revolve around sim racing and then real racing in a way as well. And uh, yeah, that's going to be in its own hall. We've got two. You mentioned it uh, on the at the top of the um, yeah, well, video. Yeah, <laughs> for the lack of a better word, uh, one will be uh, mostly for exhibitors, so all the good stuff to to look at and try, and the other will be entirely dedicated. <clears throat> excuse me, dedicated to uh, esports and uh, the show stage. So we will have um, our competitions in there. There will be a an on-site paddock of uh, esports uh, teams, of sim racing teams, the best in the world. So uh, that's definitely something to look forward to. I don't think there's going to be a boring minute <laughs> over the course of the entire four days. I, I think all of us here at Sim Racing Unlimited and the team behind the scenes of Corvana, Adiatse, and also the Nuremberg Messer, we are going to be literally run off our feet uh, for four <laughs> yeah. days. But for those that have not yet bought your tickets, Head to uh, the official simracingexpo.de uh, website to get your tickets. You can get them for uh, either single day entry or you can get them for the entirety of the weekend. You know, you can even submit some questions to the respective panels whilst we're actually live. So we will be broadcasting on multiple, multiple different platforms, including YouTube, including Twitch. And you'll be able to catch all the action live from what's happening on the stage to what's happening on the virtual life side of things when it comes to sim racing so three major platforms race room experience assetto corsa competizione and i racing those are the three that we've selected we've got for this year um and that really wraps up our look ahead of the uh the sim racing expo at the nuremberg Messe between the first and the fourth of december yannick you know what the most exciting thing i'm i'm looking forward to is meeting the rest of the team oh yeah <laughs> that's uh, still that still hasn't happened so uh yeah very much looking forward to that as well 
and to all the things that haven't been announced yet but are still coming with the next few weeks um I mean, we've got, uh, not that I'm going to reveal anything just no, yet, no. but uh, I mean, we've got cool cooperations as well. You mentioned WRC. You, we have uh, the eNASCAR championship, actually, the international series, which we are going to broadcast on, I think, the Sunday. Yeah. Um, you know, so you can kind of uh, guess the scale of things to come there. It's going to be good. I think, I think also there's something uh, aligned with regards to the 24 hours esports uh, series esports as well, because they've got a race that weekend too. So True, there's, yeah. there's going to be plenty of sights and sounds for you all to, to have an opportunity to come down to the Nuremberg Messe. Like I say, half an hour away by train. It's quite affordable, actually. Uh, I've just looked up myself <laughs> because I've got to come over from the airport to make my way over to the to the Nuremberg Messer, but join us here at the team here at SRU. We'll be there all the way through the week, and we look forward to seeing you all there. Keep your eyes peeled on the Adiatia Sim Racing Expo official social media channels, and also from us, us lot here at Sim Racing Unlimited. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' time in Nuremberg in Germany. See ya. Bye.